Welcome back on the Anglers Extra pregame show. I'm Dominic Catronio with Jeff Burke, our catch of the day from Boston College, our fourth Eagle, even though there's only three here, but tonight a fellow Eagle on the mound, Andrew Chin. What do you like watching from him from inside the bullpen or whether it be in the dugout? Oh, I love watching Chin. I've seen him throw a ton at BC and everything, and uh, he's got an amazing changeup. So it's always fun to see him throw a fastball change and go out there. You know, a lot of guys think you need a breaking ball, but he kind of shows you you don't need that all the time. With four Eagles on the team at one point, unfortunately Blake had to leave due to injury. What was the camaraderie like between you guys? Oh, it was great. Uh, definitely made it a lot easier for us coming down here. You know, you, you know three other guys, so on and off the field, it's just so much easier. You feel so much more at home, and it's, uh, it's always fun to get out here and play with those guys. What kind of experience or what kind of advice did Blake and Andrew give you being returners to the Anglers this season? Uh, they just told me to take it day by day and really, you know, it's, uh, it's really fun to be down here and really enjoy it and, and enjoy it day for day. Don't really just focus on getting it over with, but really let it all soak in. Here in Chatham, you've been used primarily out of the bullpen. How has that adjustment been for you from Boston College? Uh, it's, it's been fine. I mean, I was in the bullpen all freshman year, so uh, as opposed to this spring, it's a little bit different, but it's pretty easy to jump right back in that role. Is there anything that you have to do to prepare yourself for coming out of the bullpen different than, say, starting? Yeah, well, I mean, you just got to you gotta be getting loose throughout the whole game rather than, you know, having kind of the whole timetable laid out. You got to be ready to get ready in two or three batters if you have to, if the team needs that. So just kind of uh, being more aware and, and in the game and kind of constantly staying loose. Now, a little backstory here on Jeff Burke. You've got minor league baseball in your bloodline, really, with your grandfather founding a minor league team. What can you tell us about your time in Chattanooga and in Portland with the Sea Dogs? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, I grew up around ballpark uh, when I was one we moved down to Chattanooga and purchased that team and so since I've won, been one I've uh, kind of spent all my summers there on the field groundskeeping you know in the clubhouse meeting all these guys who you know I looked up to for so long and now I'm getting to be their age and picked up a lot of things maybe not the best things at times but uh, it's been a great experience meeting a lot of big leaguers too I mean we've had a lot of cool guys come through there so it's been a lot of fun and as fun time more comes over as he always does but <laughs> You had to have a lot of big leaguers, like you said. I mean, before they were a Reds affiliate, now a Dodgers affiliate. Are there any notable names that really anybody would notice that came through Chattanooga? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we had Willie Mo Pena, Adam Dunn, Homer Bailey, Johnny Cueto. I mean, with the Dodgers, Kershaw came through, Scott Van Slyke, Trayvon Robinson. You know, we probably had at least 20, 30 major leaguers. And with the Sea Dogs as well, I mean, a lot of people are more familiar with that. Pedroia. All the big Red Sox names came through there as well. Now here on the Cape, you guys have really become good friends. And down in the bullpen, we've been over this a million times. Who in your eyes, what is it about these guys in the bullpen that just makes them so crazy? I don't know. We got a lot of personalities down there. It's a lot of fun being around them. I mean, we have so many guys who just love being at the ball field and, and hanging out. And, you know, I don't know. It's just a lot of crazy guys down there, but it's a lot of fun. And they managed to stay focused somehow, and we've made it out of the photobomb so far here. And my last question for you is, as you grew up playing baseball and now you're a pitcher, is there anyone that you tried to emulate on the field and try to, you know, accomplish any time you're out there going on the mound? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I always had these guys looking up to in minor league teams, uh, you know, some smaller names. I had a glove from a guy named Ryan Model for a long time. who was a righty just like me. And uh, now I love to watch Verlander and, and emulate Verlander. If I was a lefty, I'd follow Lester. Here come the guys. They're going out there. Uh, and, you know, so I definitely follow Verlander most, probably. Well, I think we almost made it out of there safely, but we still made it through unscathed. That's Jeff Burke, our catch of the day from Boston College. Jeff, thank you for joining us. Thank you. That's it for us down here. Johnny, back up to you in the booth.